Hello friends, I hope you are fine and pretty good. Today we are going to talk about media as a source of information. The term media is defined as one of the means or channels of channel communication in society as newspapers, radio, television, etc. Media includes, uh, media includes every uh, broadcasting and narrowcasting medium such as newspapers, magazines, TV, radio, billboards and uh, direct mail, telephone, fax and internet. Media is the plural of medium and can take a plural or singular verb. It is often said that world has become a global village. It is media that has shrunk the world into a, into a village. Telecommunication, TV, radio, newspaper and now computers have reduced distances and brought the countries of the world closer to each other. With the advent of new technology, media has gained new dimension and great strength. It has transformed the present age into information explosion. With the passage of time, media has become the member of our society. Media plays many important functions in the present age, ranging from political to educational. Media is a powerful weapon. It creates awareness and consciousness of uh, rights, duties and responsibilities among the people. Through it, people and government uh, become conscious of the future challenges. For a democracy to flourish, a free and strong media is a necessity. Free and fair media is considered as guardian of democracy. It ensures free and fair elections, uh, accountability and transfer of power. One of the biggest problems that the world is facing today is intolerance and mutual mistrust. Intolerance makes the society a jungle. World needs a big change. Media, being a, a much powerful source, uh, source today, plays its part by promoting tolerance and mutual understanding. Media is the only source now which is easily accessible to people from all walks of life. Media, through its various trends, colors, and lifestyles, has brought the nations uh, closer to each other. It depicts the religion and culture of the countries. Uh, it creates social harmony and understanding and promotes brotherhood. It provides entertainment and recreational activities. Media is the mirror of a society. It reflects the true picture of it, hence uh, it affects the society in different ways. It has both positive and negative impacts. Media is a powerful and effective political agent. It raises the voice of the masses and acts as the interpreter of society. It keeps an eye on each and every action of the government and not only points out drawbacks and lapses in the works done by the government but also suggests methods to improve them. It brings expert opinions through various debates and provides the government a guideline to follow. It also brings the performance of the ruling government to the masses and acts as an agent of change. Furthermore, media <clears throat> Media also plays a very vital role in economic sphere. It attracts the foreign investors by showing government's projects internationally. It is also a great source of purchasing and selling. One can do all one's business just sitting at home through internet. It keeps its uh, vi viewers in touch with the new trends in business and products through advertisement. Changing prices of the essentials are not a hidden matter now. It also presents the performance of stock exchange which keeps the investors updated. As far as spare, as far as you know, as far as uh, social spare is concerned, it has brought the people of the world closer to one another. It changes moods and behaviors of people from conservative to liberal. It, purif it purifies the society from superstitions, evils and fake stories by presenting bold topics through channels and talk shows. It has upgraded the living standards uh, through new household styles. It opens new avenues of success for the youth. It is highly productive in molding the characters and morals of the young generation. Entertainment provided by it has filled the lives with the colors of joy and happiness. Media is also not behind in the religious sphere. It presents authentic information through competent scholars. It seeks uh, answer of public's uh, questions which remain unheard and unexplained. It also highlights religious occasions and disharmony is minimized by putting forward the views of competent scholars and enlightened ulamas. The role of media and technology in education is quite obvious. In today's educational settings, media technology has made viewing increasingly easier as time has passed throughout history. 
children today are encouraged to use media tools in school and are expected to have a general understanding of the various technologies available. The internet is arguably one of the most effective tools in media for communication tools uh, such as email, Skype, Facebook, etc. have brought people closer together and uh, created new online communities. However, some may argue that uh, certain types of media can hinder face-to-face. -face. Therefore, it is an important source of communication. Schools are loaded with computers and are constantly looking for ways to enrich their curriculum for students and provide educational tools for them that will help them with, uh, with life further in time. Internet and video conferencing technology allow students to participate in projects, uh, you know, to participate in projects uh, sponsored by researchers around the world. Social media has a lot of benefits for the students and teachers. It is very easy to educate from others who are experts and professionals via the social media. You can follow anyone to learn from him or her and enhance your knowledge about any field. Regardless of your location and education background, you can educate yourself without paying for it. Education and technology or the media go hand in hand in the 21st century. Free media is the integral part of democracy. It acts as the custodian of democracy and facilitates the decision-making process. It has become the voice of the masses. Indeed, it is, uh, it is instrumental in shaping the public opinion. A society with uh, restricted media is just like stagnant water. Such society breeds only ignorant minds. People remain ignorant of events, ignorant of their rights, their duty to the state their needs and the role that they can play for the betterment of society.